morning. We've been called out today because somebody smashed the gate off on one of the fields and we've made a proper job of it. Lovely wake up call. We have finally got them to go in. Somebody's had some great bank holiday weekend fun and smashed the gate off there. Um, got called up by the RSPB at before seven o'clock this morning to come down and uh, get them back in. Luckily with four of us, we have got it sorted. So we've just got to put some barbed wire over the gateway and uh, try and keep them in for the rest of the day while it gets repaired. It's a good job these guys are fairly quiet. Oh yeah, really quiet. So that's all barbed wired up for now. RSPB are gonna come down and uh, just adjust it a bit. Maybe even think about putting another gate on. So, bye guys. Good morning, em. What you say? Oh my God. Rev and go. What, and can I have a go with my monkey boots on? Yeah, I said I to work on it. <laughs> it's not mine, but I could work on it. <laughs> Mint. Jeez. Em, um, you are going to kill yourself on that. I know oh, that for sure. Next, next thing to a motorbike, is it? Yeah, go on then. Look at this. Joe Seals Farm has gone eco. Aren't we, Andy? If she don't fall off that and hurt herself, this is a summit, you know, that she, she might have passed her apprenticeship. Oh, right. Have a go at this, I'll film you. <laughs> have a go at this, I'll film you. Have a go on this, go on. Go on. Wheel it in. You are, Joe. Go on, fly out of yard. There's a way. That weapon. You get a Facebook shit though, don't you? <laughs> what do you think to uh, the weapon? Nice, I like it. That makes bad no means you want it. It's not mine though. Uh, well, you just have to nick it in for now. <laughs> Commandeer it. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Weapon. Weapon. Centre Parks this weekend. Em's bike gonna disappear. <laughs> and he's laughing. Do I want a Kiwi? Oh, nice. Cowboys don't care. Cowboy. Fantastic. I'm a cowboy. Yeah, I'll swap it for my, I've got a pink one on my Kiwi. I'll swap it for that. All right, it's time for me to jump on the nine meter and get started with a, a mix, I suppose, a pre-mix. Andy's out and about on the straw blower. My dad's feeding round. Oh, I'm spending a bit of time with you guys, aren't I? Fixing water troughs. How are we all doing? Andy's not strawed up in here yet, but it's fairly clean still. You just keep licking me, don't you? No matter how much I push you away, it keeps licking me. Yes, all right, okay, okay. All right. You're lovely. You're lovely. We know. Coffee time's back to four people in the house. Em's back, Andy's back. Oh, my dad's here, but anyway. He's just filling it with diesel. Wait, right, Em. What? Oh, Ash is here. That's what she's pointing at. Oh, you weren't? I don't think so. But you can check it. So now, I'm going to take Em to the field with the rollers and I'm going to show her how to use technology in farming business. You've missed a bit! What? You've missed a bit! I'm only joking Em. Alright mister. Yep. Good. You happy? No, we're going to go to work. Oh. What yeah. today? Ah. Huh. Nightmare. Well, tomorrow now. Oh well. Alright, I'm taking Em anyway to show her how to do some rolling. You know how to do some rolling, don't you? Yeah. Really poly in. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be going off with the power harrow. Andy's just leaving now with the plow. Me and Em going to be on the rollers for a little bit, showing you how to use this Em. Business. You're going to have a job, an easy, easy job today. 
Don't fall asleep is all I can say. Well, we're not doing the field. No, how you heck? So me and Em have got to the field. Em's gonna start taking the road safety devices off. Then put that pin back in. Oh, like yeah, let that dangle. Put that pin back in so we don't lose it. Then we have to unfold it and then get the other pins out. All right, so I'll just start unfolding it. Um... There we go. Let's put that in float. Yeah. So you'll find really stiff, yeah? So if you come round to here and press the buttons on the back of the tractor, You'll be able to adjust it so that we can we can slacken that off. So lift it up. That's it. Keep going up. Keep going up. Hopefully it's up anyway. So M's just adjusted it so she can see it slack. Pull it out. Can you see where it goes, M? In that it goes in a little slot there. If you got what? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Business. So me and Em are in the rolling tractor. My dad's there, power hourin' away. While we are just flattening the ploughing down for him. He says it's making him get on a bit quicker. Um, but neither of us is driving. Look at that. And I could let Em sit on this seat, but this seat's more comfortable. So uh, I'm letting Em sit on the horrible seat. And because um, I'm nice like that, and um, yeah, so we just literally all we're doing is sitting here because we've got it on auto headland turn, so it's going up the field, it's turning round at the end, and it's coming back down, and then it's turning round and it's going back up. Like, all we are doing here is just watching the machine, making sure it's working right, making sure that when we get to the end and the computer does turn us round, that we're done wipe anything or anybody out or something like that just as a safety feature i suppose we're sitting here but technically we could just leave it for okay. half an hour yeah. business that that's is what, business it's isn't it? all done off a windows tablet so that's a 150 pound windows tablet that i bought so any windows laptop anything like that and then i built it all up myself we got it down there there see that little linkage the little one so that's a Land Rover suspension sensor, cost £13.50. There's a bit of a box and a lot of wires and mess down there. It's a mess in this tractor, I will say that. But um, it wasn't the first one that I built, so uh, I didn't really know what I was doing to be honest. So it looks a mess. In the other tractor, it still looks a mess, but it looks so less of a mess, doesn't it? Kinda, yeah. Kinda. And if I did it to a third one, like maybe the 130, I reckon I'd like. Crack it, yeah. Crack it, yeah, that's a good word, Em. I think I would, I'd crack it. Crack it, I've got hiccups. <laughs> Did you hear that? Em's got hiccups. Oh, that's great. Can you do one on cue? No. <laughs> oh, Great job today, Em. Yeah. Yeah. You're keeping your lines really straight. <laughs> Apprentice, but you're looking like professional. Professional with our hands. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's good though, like you can grasp the, using this technology better than what my dad can anyway. That's my dad, isn't it? It would help if your dad had the right mindset. Yeah, like if he had a positive outlook, positive on, outlook on it. Yeah, that would help a lot. Um. <laughs> well, he don't, he don't want to know about it, so he's not going to want to learn about it. No, no. He does like it when it's working, though. Like, if I did actually have that set up on the power it's for it. Yeah, yeah. He just, he, he doesn't like the screen being in there, so he takes it out, so then it's like a massive effort to um, put it back in, like bolt it all up, like get everything set up on it. Um, 
Yeah. If it was just in there, yeah. it would just be a five minute job to set it up. Not, not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Ash is here. He's going to bring me back from a dinner, I think. Oh, that's what he's here for anyway. Oh, he's doing some digging. He's looking like he's uh, yeah, professional. Next um, off so M's off now, on her own. There's a bit here missing where we've not rolled it. So you can see we've got some quite big clumps. So what's happening is when the rollers are going over the top, they're breaking some of these down, pressing, pressing them into the ground and breaking them down. And then my dad's coming over with the power harrow it's just making a better job. He says it can go a lot quicker. So um, it's just making it more efficient for the man on the power hour that's using all the fuel. Whereas the rollers don't use that much. So in this field, Andy did quite um, a wide headland with the plough, which is what I wanted, but he did do it at like, I wanted it at 18 metres, he'd done it at like 27 or something, which is a bit much, but that's not a problem. But my dad on the power hour, he is the problem. So this is 12 meters where we're stood here and that's where he's pulling up and down. So just to get that mound there is where he's lifted up with the power harrow. So it, it drags soil along with it. So this is hard to see on the camera, but this is a real, quite a large mound of soil. And then there's a, a gap because he's gone the other way. Then there's a large mound of soil. Then there's a gap, then there's a large mound of soil. So as you can imagine, when I'm coming over with the sprayer, I'm gonna be going up this bit, going down that bit, going up that bit, going down that bit, all on my So my dad's headland. now decided that he wants to go home for his lunch. So I'm on the power harrow. So I've been power harrowing for a bit now. Ash has come to take me off so I can have my dinner because it's getting, it must be like half past one or something. I uh, normally have it at 12, so I'm pretty hungry. A few seagulls behind us. Coming in. So Ash is going to start off now. How are we in? Might just get a nice slow motion shot of what, how it does its job. He's off. Office with a view today. So my spray has just been delivered, all 250 kilos of it. I've just come to check on M, see how she's getting on. We're doing all right. So what we're gonna have to do now is, Ash can't come with me to Humphrey, because M's got a flat tire. Um, so I'm actually going to have to come back up with the airline, plug it into the back of the 210 and pump the tyre up. So long as, um, oh my dad's left a nice mound there, hasn't he Ash? Oh, that's lovely, just for me to bounce over. You guys are great. Just got back from home Firth Market, I got six cattle on and an extra passenger. <laughs> um, David's car broke down so we've... Um, Good job, Thank you very much. Yeah, no Sorry, worries. Take care. Just say hello to Freddy, his grandson. Hello, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just picking Emma up. Ash is over there, just going to fetch the tractor back. Oh, we've got a class in here, Em. Oh, just zoom back to this. No, this one. <laughs> M thought we'd actually got a class. Me and Em are back at the farm now. We've still got pens to feed, I think. Yeah, I think so. But it's okay, because M will not be tired on her way home, because she's got whiz whiz power, haven't you? Speed power. Speed up. So now I've got the rollers dropped off. I've got my sprayer on. So I'm going to go and do some spraying this evening. Into the night, probably. Oh, yeah. I'm going away this weekend, so I need to get it done. I've got lots of cattle to do. Jobs are going to start piling up. My dad's not here tomorrow and 
yeah, I think Lammers look in like it's out of the question completely. Um, which is really disappointing because that's what I wanted to go to. So I wanted to see everybody that were there. Um, but yeah, I just got to be real and know that I'm going to be too busy, I think. Disappointing, I know. What? Nice hat. Oh, I thought you said nice hat. Here's a nice hat. <laughs> so, me and Em, uh, well Em's about to get off on her electric bike and whiz home, um, I'm about to get on my diesel powered tractor and pollute the countryside with spray, it's not really, it's just a fungicide and a growth regulator for my wheat, um, but yeah I'm going to be doing that, if you've liked our video remember to press that like button and if you've not already and yeah if anybody wants some merchandise joeseals.com, all that business. We'll see you tomorrow. You're here tomorrow. And is here tomorrow. Boom team. I shouldn't know he's shooting in here. But anyway, right. Bye guys. Bye.